book of Acts ends abruptly. It's almost anticlimactic. The dynamic apostle Paul is under house arrest in Rome, but he's still able to preach and write, boldly proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ. And no one tried to stop him. And then the picture seems to fade to black. Yet this picture represents the gospel going to the ends of the earth, as Jesus had predicted. This was Paul in the capital of the then known world. And the good news about Jesus continues to spread despite the obstacles. This picture also represents every disciple continuing to proclaim Jesus in Jerusalem and Samaria, in Antioch and Cyprus, in Philippi, Corinth and Ephesus, and in places as far away as Ethiopia, Iran and India. In one sense, the good news of the kingdom of God had made disciples in the ends of the earth within the first generation of the church. But in another sense, this gospel story remains incomplete even today, 21 centuries on. The book of Acts ends abruptly because the church is still writing the last chapters. The acts of God through the church's witness in the power of the Holy Spirit are not complete until the gospel reaches everyone. Everyone needs to encounter the resurrected Jesus who transformed the early disciples and Paul in the past and has transformed countless others throughout the Christian story. The good news about Jesus is transforming us, but we want Jesus to transform our family, friends and work colleagues, neighbours, city, country, region and the world. The amazing thing is that you and I can be a part of that transformation. Filled with the Holy Spirit, we are writing the last chapters of the book of Acts. We are part of the ongoing disciple-making movement until Jesus returns. Thank you.